Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Valmore. Today I am peering into the madness to make a recipe from the Lovecraft inspired cookbook, The Necro Nom Nom Nom. This cookbook has some very interesting takes on recipes, including giving them a cosmic horror design and quite often with very punny names. Today I'm going to be making a baked wonton appetizer that stares back. This is the grape old wands. Let's get started. So I'm going to start this by folding up my wontons. And putting them into the muffin tin. So the book has some illustrations for recommendations for how to fold this. It's what I tried to do here. But if you're going to make it, what you want is to have it look a bit like eyelids and that'll be kind of obvious as we continue going forward. But now what I'm going to do is put it in the oven for about five minutes. And now that those are out of the oven, I'm going to cook up some ground beef and sausage. This cookbook is definitely going to be weird. You get hints of it from the very first paragraph of the foreword. And I'm just going to read that here to you right now. The tome you hold in your hands, or other manipulatory appendages, derives from an older codex. Attempts were made to civilize it. Niceties were added, tables of content, appendices, measures and servings. But serving what? They seem to have held. No more of the editing staff have mysteriously vanished, though the sanity of some may have suffered. Be warned, if cooking is a science, eldritch cooking is alchemy, prayer, and sacrifice. The recipes are written in a way to invoke that multiple people are taking on the work, or that one person is taking it on and experiencing varying levels of madness. Some recipes are written pretty straightforward, as you would expect from a cookbook. Others use very strange words for some of the ingredients and the steps to take during the cooking process, requiring you to need to solve a bit of a riddle. A simple one from this recipe calls for the white ichor of Hellman. Some of the recipe steps are even written in prose. But don't let this dissuade you from getting this cookbook. As the recipes are rewritten in a later section with the exact measurements and steps that you would take. Now that the meat is done, I'm going to put it in a bowl. I'm going to add mayonnaise, sour cream, ranch, and Colby Jack cheese. And now I'm going to mix everything together. I also almost forgot to add milk, but you add the milk in and stir again. And now I am going to fill up the wontons. And now I am going to put those back in the oven for about seven or eight minutes. So if you've made it this far and are wondering why it's called grape old ones, that's coming to us right now. So I'm going to take some grapes I'm just going to cut the edges off and try and clear out the middle a bit. And then I am going to put a little bit of wasabi paste on. And when the wontons come out of the oven, these are going to be placed down in the middle of my vaguely eye-shaped snacks as eyes. And then it finished it off with a little sriracha to give it a bit of a bloodshot look. So this was a pretty good dish that would be a lot of fun to take with you to a party especially if it were a Halloween party. The filling is tasty. It's very straightforward. It doesn't really have any unexpected flavors or, or combinations like that. You could obviously alter the taste however you wanted, 
but you want to make sure it just has a light enough color where it still looks like an eyeball. And I was worried a bit about the size of these because I was just having issues assembling them to look like an eyeball. Everything just seemed so small. But I really think the size was perfect because being bite-sized, you got everything in one bite. The grape, the wasabi, the sriracha. So it had that little bit of sweetness and a little bit of spice from the sriracha and the wasabi and then filled in just a nice little crunchy wonton. I hope you enjoyed. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter at chef underscore Valmore. The links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and come on back next week for another recipe.